street photography meetup on mobile phones but I'm lost late and I think I'm gonna miss everybody <sighs> Wowzers I think not have a look at this is this my meetup oh my god there's so many people here false alarm wrong group ah. hello <laughs> hiya how's it going still at it with the vlogging Turns out that wasn't my group at all. What it actually was, was a marathon. Some kind of running event, apparently. That's what I've been told, not sure. Recently got back into my jogging, went for Christmas and just turned into a piglet. We've got four hours to just walk around and do things on our mobile phones. And again, it's awesome being in a group. You can just see what others are doing. And When people stop, it just kind of makes you see things that you don't often see yourself, so yeah. As we're taking photos, my friend is saying how she feels that she doesn't have a good eye because it's, she knows people who they take photos that she just loves. Is it possible that we just all don't love our own work? Maybe sometimes you don't see it because you're different and that's what makes you unique and that's what makes you great. Bet you there's someone looking at your photos and going, well, I didn't see that. So many people say this. We can't all be awful at photography. It probably means that your voice is unique and you're different. And there's probably people looking at you right now going, wow, like, how, how did you see that? Where did you see that? How come I didn't get the same shot? Wonder what you guys make about that. If you have any opinions about that, I'd love to hear it. I'm in a familiar part of town. Do you remember this place? If you don't, you've not been watching my vlogs and you should. The interesting thing is trying to find different shots in places you've already been. Obviously the weather is a lot different. There's actually sunshine for a change. <laughs> Kind of mostly just been a day of seeing if I can improve my technique in terms of just trying to be as inconspicuous as possible. I'm not really judging my photos, I'm just trying to be as swift and quiet and efficient as possible. A lot of burst mode is being used in this instance. It's all about waiting for the moment and then at the right moment lifting up the camera and boom, 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 boom. Surprise, surprise, I'm gonna give you three guesses as to who has lost their group on this photo walk. Hmm, I wonder who it could be. Who is the one person that we know does this all the time? Do you know what? I am just gonna embrace it now. I must just make allowance for the fact that this is what I have become. I am that guy that can never keep up. Slow but steady, you know? I just got to embrace my tortoise-ness in this instance. Oh, lost the group. I hope we can find them again, but if not, business as usual. More photos to take. Just walking over the bridge. Great news! I found everybody again. Awesome stuff. Back in the game, baby. You know I've been talking about maybe getting a lens for my uh, phone. 
Well, I'm here with John, and he's got something that never even occurred to me that I could get for my phone, and that's a polarizer. Hey, John. Hi. What you got there? That's the polar adjustable polarizer. Clips onto the phone. It helps to darken the skies, helps to contrast, and most importantly, cut out reflections. Wow, that's really cool. So I could like shooting through glass and things like yeah, that. And yeah, yeah. I need to get that. Yeah, how, yeah. how much did that set you uh, back then? I bought them off Amazon for uh, eight pound a set. Right. We're not going to promote anyone's product necessarily, but I think I'm definitely going to look into that. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Look at this. I'm in this weird Dockland kind of area. You see that? I just wouldn't know about this if I wasn't with people that really know what's going on. This city is full of little nooks and crannies that I just would never know about, save for these photo walks and people that really know this town. It's great. I found a really good shot and I was trying to get the decisive moment but no one would walk through it and I waited for the longest time until finally I had to ask a friend to just walk through the shot and from what I am learning a lot of classic historical moments that were decisive moments oh this just happened off the cuff you weren't actually the, uh, that off the cuff so apparently Bresson's jumping man you know the guy jumping over the puddle that that there was a bunch of people waiting there and I don't know this is what I'm being told so I'm guessing that sometimes you get lucky other times you have to create your own luck sometimes you can I don't want to say manufacture but sometimes maybe you do have to get a little bit of help to get beautiful shots I don't know what do you guys think been awesome I've been with the wasps we all, we all shoot photos in Birmingham excellent group if you're in the Birmingham area you need to find out about these guys give them a wave everybody Yay! Yay! awesome crew oh, it's been a really fruitful time today taking some photos with the guys from wasps which is a West Midlands based group of photographers it's a meetup basically and um, really lovely bunch of people you learn so much just from seeing how other people do things and find all the nooks and crannies because there's some people that really know this town in and out and yeah you just can explore and there's just fun in that as well so I think I've come to the end today I wasn't looking for amazing shots the glare to be honest has been pretty extreme but what I've really liked is the fact that it's been great banter. Today wasn't so much about getting the best images, it was more about making sure that I can get my confidence up in terms of walking up to people's faces and taking the shot. Again, when you're with a group you feel more emboldened, but I think my invisibility techniques, you know, it's, it's improving. But like I said before, that could be because of the part of town I'm in. I think maybe bigger cities or people are more busy, they're not looking around to see who's watching, whereas smaller towns can be quite, hmm, who is this stranger? Mm -hmm.